And we are underway in this one. Sarah Charlie will get the ball early, looking on the near sideline. Just going to pass it up, but Iowa will take it there. Iowa just taking their time. No reason to push early. They'll try to go near the far sideline. Now I IU with the takeaway. Sarah Charlie on the ball looking for a way in now. She'll try to find Jemima Cookson in the circle, but cut off and a hit coming out for Iowa. And it looks like Indiana's intent is to be aggressive and defend upfield, put some pressure on the Hawkeyes trying to move across here. Now Iowa will take possession here after a, after a whistle. Iowa's playing really well this year. Currently have the best scoring margin in NCAA at 3.09. A very strong team, but last couple games not playing as well. So we'll just push it back here. Millie Short on the ball, one of the key players here for that defense. Try to find it up. Garcia Prado with a good stick there. Now Jemima Cookson on the ball. Cookson will just pass it back. Emma Thompson looking for a way up, but a good stick by Iowa. And now they'll take possession after the takeaway. Actually, a whistle, and IU will take it. And Lucas, I really expect to see a lot of back and forth in terms of possessions going so far in this one. We're going to see a lot moving through the middle of the field and lots of changes. Yeah, that IU versus Louisville game, really through the first three quarters, it's kind of what we saw back and forth, not too much offensive pressure for either side. Now IU with an opportunity. Jemima Cookson will take it. Trying to find a teammate. Gets a whistle, but it will be Iowa ball. Now a quick push here on the near sideline. Miranda Jackson will try to take it, and that one will go out. It'll be a hit. I believe a hit coming out for IU. Actually, it went off I. Yeah, it will be a hit coming out for IU. Uh, then a mistake, and Iowa will take the ball right back off the stick of Van Wandern. Iowa will just pass it back. Really short. Looking for a teammate. She'll find one. And IU playing good defense right now, not letting anyone th anything through. And a pass through, just finding no one. Keld will take it on the turnover. Some press from Iowa, but they'll get a whistle. And Keld will push it quick. Ava Winner will come in for IU. Now Iowa with, with the ball on the near sideline. Now inside the circle, Von, Von Alsom, the shot will go wide. Iowa shot taken. It'll be a hit coming out for IU. By number Von Alsom, a key player for this Iowa offense. She is currently That's leading the NCAA like in goals with 23, leading the with NCAA wide. pretty much every offensive stat. She elected to go for the spinning backhand right there, and already we're seeing Indiana making substitutions early, trying to keep the freshest legs they can on the on the field. A good stick on for Iowa, but IU good defense and aerial pass off the stick of Van Wander, and Iowa will keep possession. Monica Herbine. Looks like we're going to get a corner here. And first penalty corner of the game here for Iowa. Something they've been very successful at this year. Penalty corner for the Hawkeyes. I believe it will be Irvine. To be taken by number 24. Inserting the ball for Iowa. Monica Irvine. As we just as they discuss, let's see Von Alsom near the left side of the of the circle. Here's the pass inside to Von Alsom. Will take the shot, saved by Loveridge, and a tackle there inside. And it will be another penalty corner, I believe. So Iowa. 
had the battery a little spread out up top on that last one. We'll see if they try to bunch up a little more here, and it looks like they will. Here's the pass in. This one at the top. Four von Awesome and another shot wide. Shot by number 10. And it will be a hit coming out for IU. That looked like it might have gotten deflected a little bit on the way towards the net as well. It's a substitution for Indiana entering as number 16, Kennedy Reardon. Kennedy Reardon will come in for IU. And now some press here for Iowa. That will go off the foot and it'll be I IU ball still. Reardon. Like I mentioned, heavy press here early from Iowa. IU just trying to find their way out of their own end. Down the middle is Prado looking for a teammate. That'll be a hit quick up towards Ava Winner. Taking possession, it's Teresa Ricci down the right side, trying to find a way into the circle. Will. Megan Dillon trying to find a shot. A good stick towards the middle, kicked out by Magnata, the Iowa goalkeeper. Iowa with possession now. As they try to find a way out. Prado trying to press for IU. And Iowa trying to break out a little bit here. Annika Irvine with the ball. Good stick there from Reardon. We'll slow down that press a little bit. IU trying to show a little press here now themselves. As Iowa flips the field, Megan Dillon will try to get the ball. Iowa containing pressure here. Indiana's going to have to put a concerted effort into this game to try to get possession time and keep up with the Iowa offense. We've seen them possess the ball for the majority of these first six plus minutes here. And already three shots on goal here for Iowa as they try to look for another opportunity. Going down the right side. IU will get the takeover. Tries to pass it out, but Iowa right there. And a hit coming in for Iowa. They'll maintain possession. And that one now will be a hit coming out for IU. Substitution for Indiana entering the game is number You 10. mentioned a lot of substitutions left. early here for IU, trying to keep fresh legs on the field. It's been one of their strong suits so far this year. The They're going to need everybody today as well. It's going to be a whole team effort. It definitely will be. Iowa now just taking their time as IU sits back a little bit. Now looking for a win as they pass the half, half marker. Good stick from IU there, but Iowa maintains possession. Now a good takeaway is Keld on the ball. Prado trying to maintain possession, but it will be Iowa. When we get another whistle, Iowa will maintain possession. Now another offensive opportunity here for Iowa inside the marker. On the near sideline, Strybos looking inside. And we get a hit coming out for IU. Press gets another turnover. Gila Whalen looking inside towards Von Alsom. Good takeaway there by AU. Reardon with the ball. Trying to find a way out. Pass cut off. Iowa with the ball again. Stribos will just pass it back out. Ella Wareham back towards the middle. And they'll just take their time once again. Now towards the near sideline, wear him again. Into the circle is Iowa. And we'll get another penalty corner, I believe. I 
This will be Iowa's third opportunity here. The Hawkeyes have been really successful early on in getting the ball into the shooting circle, and then Indiana forced to commit these fouls the and try to keep the pressure off of Arabella Loveridge. Yeah, this is similar to that Michigan game early. Michigan with a lot of opportunities and got two goals, but the rest of the game, Iowa, IU really took advantage. Here's the pass in. We'll pass it around on the right side. The shot and another save. That one will go out. This, this IU defense so far is standing strong. Been tested a lot early. And it'll be a hit coming in now for Iowa as they look to try to get another opportunity. Cookson gets a stick on it as it goes up in the air. But Iowa still maintaining pressure. For the Hawkeyes was number nine. That falls to Von Awesome. She's just outside the circle. We'll pass it back out. Cookson tries to get a steal but won't be able to. Iowa just passes it back out, back towards the midfield. Stick by Cookson, draws a whistle. Iowa will maintain possession. Try to get their offense going. Pass inside. And a little bit of a slow pass. Good stick by Von Olsen to keep it in, though. Stick there by Mozeski. Ayu draws a whistle, and they'll get possession now. Just under five minutes left here, going the first. It's been all Iowa so far. And virtually a whole new group onto the field for Indiana now. They had at least four subs come in yeah. on that last whistle. Another turnover by the IU offense. Van Wanderen trying to get a stick on it, but won't be able to maintain possession. Iowa will maintain possession. Pass towards the left. Good stick there by Teresa Ricci. Ricci. Ball goes out, and IU will take it. And a pass just a little bit out of the reach of Van Wanderen. And Iowa getting the ball once again on IU's half. On the near sideline. Wareham looking inside. Turns Von Alsom, the shot. Saved again by Loveridge. A great start for Loveridge. And now an opportunity here for IU, but Iowa another stick. And just got the ball back. That's her third save of the game. Entering the game for Iowa. The ball will two, roll Irvine. towards the end line. Coming in for Indiana, number one, Jemima Cook. And Iowa Lizzie, will maintain nine, possession. Loveridge will take it out. Or Von Awesome will take it out. Towards the circle. Passing it out. But Iowa, another stick, will maintain possession. Wareham has been all over the field so far for Iowa her, in her first start of the season. And right now, Indiana just can't get the ball out of their own end. Haven't gotten past the midline in well over a couple minutes here. The pass there by Molzeski gets taken away inside the circle. Sarah Charlie coming in for the Hoosiers, replacing number 27, Teresa Ricci. And for more on Dion Von Awesome, the star player for Iowa, we have Ava Wajinki. Thanks, guys. Dion Van Alsem is a freshman and first year to this Iowa team, and one they greatly are utilizing and appreciating. She's already had four shots on goal this game and counting. Van Alsem currently leads the nation in goals with 23 and goals per game at a 1.92. Thanks, Ava. And she's already made her presence felt. Multiple shots so far to start this one. She already has five shots in this game. 
Bad pass there by Iowa, and Indiana will take possession, trying to get something going on the offensive end. Just not had too much time there. For Indiana entering is number 34, Inez Garcia Prado. Aerial pass gets taken away by Iowa, and once again, Iowa will take possession. Pass towards the far sideline. Pass up front. Trying to find Miranda Jackson. IU will tr play some defense there. But another, Iowa will draw another penalty corner. Got it right on the dot there. and They've been getting close. Arabella Loveridge has made some incredible saves on these penalty corners, but the more opportunities you allow. It's just how much can she withhold here? The shot penalty after shot so far. For the Hawkeyes with their to be taken fourth penalty 24. corner. First two went to Von Alsom, the star Bye -bye. player. Third one, they tried to do a little bit more passing there. Either way, they have been all over this IU defense so far. Still standing strong though. Irvine to insert again. There's the pass. Pass to the right side, the shot, another save by Loveridge. That was Whittle on that shot. I stand corrected, it was Irvine. Yeah, they tried going back Indiana to the inserter, Irvine, Irvine on that, and sometimes you can catch the defense sleeping if you get it back to the inserter, and she just missed it wide of the net. the game for the Hoosiers, number 25, Maggie Carter. Maggie Carter just came back in trying to get the IU offense going, but another takeaway by Iowa. This press has been very successful so far for Iowa. And it will be a hit coming out for IU on that one. Already down to the final 50 seconds of this period as well. And Indiana having possession of the ball for very little of it. Looks like Kel drew a whistle, whistle there. Prado will take possession of the ball. Again, just trying to find something going on the offensive end. There's Pro Garcia again. Gets the whistle on the stick. Just over, just under 30 seconds. And the ball goes off Iowa's stick. And a hit coming in now for Indiana. If they can go quick and try to get a shot here late in the first quarter. A pass in, but no deflection. And it'll go out. I stand corrected, it was deflected by Iowa, that is. So it'll be a hit coming in for Indiana. We got a loose ball on the field. I see a Prado trying to find a way in. And that will run out the clock. As I mentioned, still tied 0-0. It feels like it could have been one, two, or even three nothing for Iowa. But IU will start with the ball, trying to get something going on offense. On the near sideline, Van Wandern just pass it back, but allowing that Iowa pressure to start coming up. And again, Iowa trying to get a takeaway, but they'll draw a little whistle, and IU will maintain possession. Garcia on the ball, down the right side. Stick there from Miranda Jackson. But IU will maintain possession again, just slowly making their way down the field, even methodic like. And the ball gets through, but Iowa will make, get possession. Down the right side, a bad pass and a takeaway here for IU. Charlie with an opportunity. Trying to get it to Maggie Carter. This one's Jemima Cookson. Magnata steps in, kicks it out. Iowa standing stout here. And they'll try to get it going on the other end. On the counter. Von Olsen running down the right side. And a collision there from two players. And I believe we'll be getting a green card. That one was on Emma Thompson. Green just got in the way, Indiana, able to slow down that offense, so it may have been worth it there. Prado. Now Iowa taking their time once again. And 
And a stick from Kylie Dawson draws another whistle. Iowa just maintaining pressure up through the middle. Von Olsen trying to find a shot. Get a whistle on the end. Another penalty corner coming up here as Indiana really left with no choice there with that dangerous attack. Yeah, and a good pad save from Loveridge. Von Olsen just trying to find her way through. Almost having her way with this IU defense. It's a penalty corner for the Hawkeyes to be taken by number 24, Annika Irvine. Whenever, sorry, whenever you have a bunch of people collapsing on the ball like that so close to the net, you're bound to have something happen. And now a penalty corner for the Hawkeyes. Yeah, Annika Irvine, the insert. Passes it through the middle. Von Awesome on the ball. The shot, another save by Loveridge. Battling in the Two middle, get another 10. whistle. Awesome. Miranda Jackson had the ball Bella up front. And it will be another penalty corner here for Iowa. And on possessions when Iowa's gotten multiple penalty corners, we've seen them try to run a similar play to the previous one. Let's see if they try to mix it up a little bit here. Maybe even go back to the inserter, Urban. They already tried that once as well. Yeah, that'll be Loveridge's fourth save of the game. Here's the pass in. This one shot, deflected in! I believe we had a deflection from Von Olsum, but the shot originally by Millie Short, and Iowa takes the early 1-0 lead. That would be, it was accredited to Von Olsum on the deflection. It'll be our 24th goal on the year. We mentioned it, we've mentioned her name so much, I mean, and then she comes up with a big shot, just as expected. So now IU has some work, has the work, their work cut out for them. We mentioned no shots on goal yet, and now they're down one nothing. I mentioned just, defense can only hold on for so long. Six corners, feels like giving up only one goal is almost a good thing with yeah, that that's, many corners. that's definitely a win for the Hoosiers, and it's going to be really tough for them to get back into this one unless they can really push the tempo and get up the field. We haven't seen it yet. And I'll pass back again. IU just Iowa trying to goal. find something on offense. Prado with the ball with the Iowa defense. And Iowa, another takeaway. Miranda Jackson on the ball. Passing it out towards the far sideline, just out of the reach of the Iowa player there. And IU will take back possession. They just announced over the PA system here that Millie Short was the one who scored the goal for the Hawkeyes, so that shot from the top must have went straight through. Yeah, I mean, even if it didn't end up with a deflection, Von Olsen's fake deflection there, just throwing off the goalkeeper. Now Cookson with an opportunity, looking inside. She'll put it towards the net, just off the stick of Ava Winter, and I, Iowa will take the hit coming out. So we've seen a couple of opportunities here from IU late in the first and now in the second. Seems like maybe it's trying to just get a little momentum on their side. But still nothing on net yet. It's Iowa defense giving up the second least amount of goals per game in the Big Ten and the NCAA behind Northwestern in both of those categories. But now a mistake will get the ball to IU here in, the, in Iowa's territory. Van Wanderen will take, take the ball here. Just looking for something inside the circle, just to get something on the board. Now Prado, actually Winner will take it back to Prado, but a good defensive play there by Iowa. And a whistle will give Iowa the hit coming out. And now an opportunity here for Iowa to turn the pressure back on IU. That one off the foot, Iowa will maintain possession. Now on the near sideline is Wareham. Back over, looking to flip fields here. Just taking their time with a lead now is Iowa, but a mistake there from Wareham. IU will take it. Van Wanderen, back up to Prado. We'll pass it inside, but no one there for IU. And Iowa now with a counter opportunity. the run, Iowa, good stick there from Sydney Keld, 
also number give IU the ball. Sarah Charlie. Pass outside will go back to Iowa's position. And the goal is actually attributed to Onik Irvine. So a team play there from Iowa between Vaughn Awesome, Millie Short, and obviously Irvine with the goal will go to her. But now Iowa looking for another opportunity. Inside the circle, the shot gloved away by Loveridge. The ball will roll out. It will be an Iowa hit, hit coming in. Loveridge continues to be on, on the ball here for the IU. Shot off target by number eight, Miranda Jackson. It was shot by Miranda Jackson. It was off target. Loveridge not taking any chances, though. On the near sideline is Iowa. Inside is Irvine. Passing it through the middle. Good defense so far for from IU, not letting anything in, but Iowa just taking their time. Pass inside, but it looks like a mistouch. IU, or Iowa ball. Still looking inside. This one's given up. Prado trying to find a way out, but just can't. Iowa inside. A couple of IU offensive players with an opportunity, but a whistle drawn and another penalty corner here for Iowa. Iowa. And we're going to revert back to our previous ruling on the goal. I was just informed by the IU staffers here that it was indeed Millie Short who scored the goal, and it was Irvine. And uh, Irvine and Van Awesome with the assist. Penalty they handed me the a slip of paper with that information, so Irvine. maybe the Looks like the stat broadcast and the officials are a little bit off on each other. There's a discrepancy here somewhere. Either way, Isla, yet another penalty corner here coming in. There's the Millie Short on the ball. Defense from IU still solid, but inside the circle. Pass to the right. Keld with a good stick to get the ball. Just trying to get it out. But nothing there. Iowa still with the ball. And it looks like she went a little bit too quick. Had a little bit of a wardrobe malfunction for Sydney Keld. I actually end up in a penalty corner here for Iowa. Penalty corner for Iowa. Taking the penalty corner will be number 24, Annika Irvine. Eighth penalty corner, I believe. Well, they were able to capitalize on the last opportunity given, so Indiana going to have to buckle down here. Hawkeyes looking to double up on their lead. Nine shots, five on goal already for Iowa. Still nothing on the board for IU. There's another pass in. Really short fakes the shot on the right side. Von Olsum, a good play there by Lovers to block it. Trying to put it in. IU defense just in the way. Another opportunity. Inside, taken away by Prado. Far sideline is Charlie looking up, an aerial pass over to the left side. Teresa Ricky, but not able to maintain possession. Iowa will take over. A bad touch there. Reardon, or Tess Reed, Dylan, trying to get the ball, but Iowa still doing a good job to get pressure, to get the ball, not allowing IU to get these takeaways. Now running on the left side is Airbine. Tavon Awesome. Looking right, opportunity, just not able to get anything. And another penalty corner for Iowa, drawn by Vaughn Olsum on that one. Actually will... Looks like they're actually going to be giving a penalty stroke on that one. 
So Von Awesome draws the penalty stroke. Taking this one is Hillary Cox. 25, Hillary Cox. And the shot gets past Loveridge. And Iowa take, doubles up their lead, taking it two to nothing. Great job by Von Olsen to draw the penalty stroke. Hillary Cox comes in, knocks it down. Her third goal of the year. Yeah, penalty strokes are tough because even if you have an idea where you think they're gonna go, it's still really hard to cover the whole net and you kinda gotta pick your side. And Loveridge dropped down towards the middle there and she was able to sneak it on the far post. Now Indiana really has the work cut out for them now. Have some dark clouds rolling in a little bit. And the whistle will give IU the ball. So on the near sideline, Van Wanderen trying to find a way around this Iowa, stout Iowa defense. IU in Iowa's half here, just trying to get something going. Prado with a little bit of space. And we'll draw a whistle for IU. Prado looking inside. A deflection will go out. I believe that went off someone on Iowa, so IU will maintain possession. A hit coming in for IU, and Prado will get on the ball. Pass inside. Get a whistle. A hit coming out for Iowa. But IU will ask for a review here. As I mentioned, a hit coming out for Iowa was the original call. You see Keld Prado and Charlie, as well as Van Wanderen around each other near the middle. Pass in from Cookson, goes to Van Wander. Will take a shot on the edge of the circle. And will get knocked out of play off Iowa. So it'll be a hit coming in for IU. Prado on the ball here. That was Von Olsen who got a piece of that shot attempt by Van Wanderen. Now Van Wanderen with the ball. Looking to get inside the circle. Some good defense from Iowa, but Charlie with the ball. And a whistle hit coming out for Iowa. So they're a big opportunity, but don't even get a shot on goal there. But Iowa, Iowa defense still maintains. Iowa with the takeaway. Sarah Charlie. Passing it up towards the left. Trying to find a way in off the foot of an Iowa defender. And IU will get the maintain possession. And another whistle, IU maintaining possession. I mentioned Sarah Charlie. She's been a graduate transfer from Iowa State. Been key for this IU offense so far this year. And for more on Sarah Charlie, as Iowa goes on a counter, we have Ava Wajinki. Ava? Yeah, Sarah Charlie played for Ohio State for four years before coming to, over to IU. This is her first year with the team, and she has been an excellent addition as they have utilized her. She currently, currently leads the team in goals, assists, and shots taken. Thanks, Ava. You mentioned the graduate transfer from Ohio State. Iowa going down the near sideline. There's Irvine with the ball. The stick by Van Wanderen will draw a whistle. Hit coming in now for Iowa. Iowa 
little bit of press here from IU and a missed touch will give IU a chance to go on a counter. Cookson running up the field. Got some teammates in front of her. Good stick by Iowa to slow down the attack a little bit. And a soft pass is taken away by Iowa now. Kel gets a stick in there. And will not allow Iowa on the counter. Yeah, we've seen that too many times for Indiana early on in this game. The pass is just a little too soft, not getting to the intended target quick enough, and Iowa's flying around the field. Just under three minutes left here to go in the first half. Going inside is Iowa. Looking for a pass up front, but just missed on that one was Alex Wazinski. Pass in by Miranda Jackson, just missed another of the third goal of the game. Wow, she was camped out on the far post, and I don't even think anybody saw her over there, just unable to get a piece of that ball on the way. So IU catches a break now. And a takeaway by Iowa, another opportunity. Miranda Jackson on the ball will take the shot. I believe Iowa it was sticked by, by Emma Thompson. And it will be a hit coming in for Iowa. They'll maintain possession. So yet yeah, we see another turnover in their own half for IU. Iowa taking advantage. And really short misses the ball, but will maintain possession, but a little bit too hard there. And IU will take it now with an opportunity to counter. Entering for the Hoosiers number 34. Prado just came back Prado. in. Looks like we'll take a second and allow Iowa to get back on defense. Sideline, Cecilia Maxner. Keld just trying to find some offense here at the end of the first half. A little bit too hard. Ball goes out of bounds and be ruled for IU. Just under a minute now. And a turnover by IU. And another counter opportunity for Iowa. Back to Miranda Jackson. And a stick. Van Wandering with the ball. Now just under 30 seconds. IU draws a whistle. And an aerial pass just trying to get something going. Iowa, just under 10 seconds now. Looks like they'll just let this clock run out on the first half. And they will. So as the clock runs out of the first half, I, Iowa up 2-0 on the Indi uh, over the Indiana Hoosiers. Just and mentioned this earlier, some clouds rolling in. Definitely cooling down the playing field just a little bit. Yeah, we'll get that sun out of our eyes as well. We'll take that up here in the broadcast booth. It makes our life just a little bit easier. Van Wander trying just to find some teammate, but this Iowa press, it's so good all day. IU's just had no space to work with. And that ball will go out. IU will maintain possession, just try to work down the field a little bit. Van Wander on the ball. And she's been a key player for this IU team since she's joined the team back in 2021. She's played and started every game. And a pass just too far out. Laura Mortz trying to sneak past the defense right there, and they were almost able to connect on a stretch pass. Been hit coming out for Iowa. It really feels like in the second half they can just take, I mean, they've taken their time a lot on offense. They can really just park the bus a little bit. 
This IU press, probably going to see it a lot more here in the second half. The pass is too far out, a good stick, and IU will take possession. Pass inside towards Maggie Carter. Goes too far up, and Iowa will get the hit coming out. Iowa now trying to get something going. And a missed touch will allow IU to take possession now. Hit inside, a couple of deflections. Looks like they'll call it off Iowa and IU will get the hit coming in. Pass inside, deflected, and Iowa will take the ball, but a pass too far out of the reach of Von Awesome. IU once again getting the ball. A little bit more offensive pressure here. Charlie now gets the ball in the end line. Pass it inside, looking for Maggie Carter. Goes off Carter's stick and out of bounds. And Iowa will get, get the ball. A little bit of press here get, forces the turnover for IU. Prado with the ball outside the circle, now passes it in. Jemima Cookson went off her stick, but no, not able to maintain possession, and it goes out. Hit coming out for Iowa. sideline, just trying to break out of this IU press. And a missed stick there will allow Iowa to keep pressure. Von Awesome on the right side now, trying to find her way in. Out to Sophie Stribos, now to the left side, out to Gia Whalen. Whalen will just pass it right back out. bit of a missed touch there for Iowa, but a great job there from J.C. Whittle to maintain possession. Iowa will keep it for now. Looking inside, off the stick of Prado, will give IU the ball. She'll pass it out in front, but Maggie Carter just can't get to it, and Millie Short will take possession now. Iowa with numerous passes on that last possession, but Indiana did a good job of keeping their defense spread out and not collapsing too hard on the ball. And it looked like that's what the Hawkeyes were trying to get them to do. Yeah, now Jemima Cookson trying to fight for the ball. And a missed touch will allow IU to take possession. And Van Wanderen will be on the ball here. Entering for Indiana number six, Megan Dillon. Trying to find a pass to the left. I think expected Megan Dillon to be there, but she ran towards the middle. And a good stick by Kel to knock it out. Try to slow down this Iowa counterattack now. Iowa. Just playing outside, looking for an in right now. Schalk will pass it to the right side, just out of the reach of Von Awesome. Will go out, and it'll be a hit coming out for IU. So a little bit back and forth here early in the second half. No real offensive pressure here from either side. And that ball will go out for Iowa. We're going back to what we saw in the first couple minutes of the game here in terms of the possession shifting quickly and neither team really being able to get far past the midline. Iowa just taking their time and waiting. Now here's an opportunity. It looks like Marina Jackson just missed it there. And IU will be able to take possession. The game for Indiana, I almost jinxed it right there as the Hawkeyes got pretty close to the circle, but the stretch pass went out of play. It's normally how it goes. And it looks like Iowa wants a whistle and they'll get it, so they'll maintain possession. Entering the game for Iowa number two, Rachel Irvine. Iowa obviously just very happy to take their time and wait. 
Wait for them to get an opportunity and a good pass inside. A couple of passes, but Keld is there to try to knock it out. Keld whacked that one away a couple times, including batting it down out of the air. And it looks like Esme Gibson has got a bad touch and will allow IU to take possession. Keld now passes it to the left side. Meredith Lee just missed it, though, and Iowa will take back possession again. Better in the game for Iowa, number four, Alex Wesleski. Feels like IU just not really helping themselves whenever they get an opportunity to break out of this press and to get on the offense. Just a couple of missed touches here and there, allowing Iowa to get the ball back before they get any pressure. Iowa going to the far sideline, and they get a missed touch, allowing IU to take it. As it rolls out of bounds. Indiana already getting ready for a couple substitutions here. And Iowa will try to get the counter attack now after the misplay there by IU. Von Awesome going for a run. And a good stick there by Sidney Kell to stop that run. And a good clearance here to allow the defense to run back. That's one thing IU's been doing great so far, not allowing these counterattacks to allow an open shot. Let's we'll see if this IU press can force a turnover. But Iowa. And there it is. IU with a chance to go on the other end. And it looks like Jemima Cookson got knocked over. And allow IU to get a chance to go on the other end, but a pass is a little bit too far out in front. And Iowa will take back Sophia possession. Arimola, yeah, converting defense into Hoosiers. offense is going to be Indiana's best chance of trying to get back into this one. Their defense has been phenomenal this season. And if it can lead to some goals on the scoreboard, that would be ideal. And you saw Gia Whalen. I don't know if Keld ran into her or Whalen knocked her over, but. I've seen a couple of collisions today. Yeah. IU trying to fight hard here. And it gets past Ma Maxner. An opportunity for Iowa to pass in. Deflection for Von Awesome, but another great save from Arabella Loveridge. A far from easy play, but it will be a hit coming in for Iowa. She got that one with the hand pad, the off stick hand. It looked like she stuck it out there and gave the ball a nice little high five and sent it out of play. Great save by Loveridge. Now pass too far and IU will take possession. That'll be Iowa's 14th shot of the game. They've had eight shots on goal. IU, one shot, none on goal yet. Just feels like this great Iowa defense. Anytime IU gets close to the circle, they are closing down and not allowing anything easy. An aerial pass from Baron Wander out in front looking for Charlie, but a good stick from Iowa to deflect it. Charlie will run forward trying to get a press, trying to force a turnover. And they'll be out off IU, and Iowa will take possession now. Just over five minutes left here to go in the third quarter. Feels like IU has been able to play a little bit more on the offensive end they have so far in the first two quarters. Now Van Wanderen looking to go inside. Still with an opportunity. Pass inside for Maggie Carter. Sticks get stuck. And they'll draw a whistle. And I believe it'll be a penalty corner here for IU, their second of the game. Maggie Carter had an opportunity in there. Looks like her stick got stuck with an Iowa defender just out in front of the goalkeeper. Indiana huddling up, discussing what they want to do here. I would expect Arabola Garcia to be the inputter, and it looks like that's going to be the case. Sidney Keld will stop it.
quarter for and then the Hoosiers, Hoosiers will go from there. By number 28, Sophia Aribola. And IU has a lot of great attackers here. You can really go with any one of them. Here's the pass in. Stopped by Van Wanderen. Charlie on the ball. Back to Keld. To the inserter. Stopped by Magnata. Great stop there. What a save. Wow. Looks like they tried to pull what Iowa did earlier in the game. What a great job by Magnata to be up in front. And it'll draw a whistle and it'll be hit coming up for Iowa now. So good opportunity for IU there. Just comes up short. Great goalkeeping play by Mia Magnata. The redshirt sophomore. Entering the, the game for Magnata Iowa. Magnata this year has a 9 and 1 record. Sammy Freeman. And she averages the least amount of saves per game. Not because she's not a good goalkeeper, but because Iowa's defense is just that good. She doesn't need to be worked all that much. But she's. We're seeing a perfect example of that today. Just not many opportunities so far for the Hoosiers. Doesn't mean they're going to stop trying. Yeah, but she does a great job, even whenever she's not getting worked a lot, being ready and being there for those saves, like we just saw in that penalty corner. And Prado trying to find a way in. It'll be hit coming in for IU. So try to set up an offensive attack here. Van Wanderen on the far sideline. Trying to find a way around the Iowa defender, Annika Irvine. But it'll go out. Van Wanderen will now push it towards Charlie, just outside the circle. Trying to find a way in, but just no one there. This very good Iowa defense standing strong. Now Prado on the right side. Looks like Iowa wanted a whistle, but didn't get it. And now Iowa with a chance to break out. Van Wanderen trying to stop that from happening. And it will actually force a turnover. It's Garcia. Gonna pass it out. It looks like there'll be a whistle on Meredith Lee. Entering for Iowa number 27, JC Whittle. Also coming See, in for a the much stronger press here from IU Miranda here. Than we saw in the first half. And it seems to have been working a little bit to get them some offensive opportunities. So pass just too far out in front, but Iowa still there, passing it out in front. On the far sideline, looking for a way in. Good stick there by Arabula Garcia. Now Prado, passing way up. Great stick there by Gia Whalen, not let it through. That will go out and it'll be IU ball. Entering the game for the Hoosiers, number 23, Lara Mortz. And IU trying to find an offensive pressure here and it'll go out off an Iowa stick. Van Wander and tries to pass it in, but it goes off an IU stick. I believe it went off Megan Dillon there. And it will be Iowa hit coming out. So far in this third quarter, just one shot on goal for each team so far. It's been a lot of back and forth as Iowa's just letting them, not forcing that offensive pressure. Now a turnover, and I, IU with an opportunity and Prado will draw a stick there. It'll be hit coming in for IU as they try to get something going. And a shot off the stick of Leva Schalk. Be another hit coming in for IU. The Indian a shot was taken by number 34. Garcia, Garcia Prado to the right, by to the left for Sidney Keld. But a good defensive play there by Sophie Stribos will knock it out. IU once again with the ball. Under a minute to go here. Garcia finds Keld. Looking for a way in, but a good defensive play there by Iowa. Now they have a counterattack opportunity here. 30 seconds left to go in the third. Good stick by Megan Dillon. I believe that one went off her foot, so Iowa will maintain possession. Iowa, no need to rush here at the end of this third. We'll see if maybe they get an opportunity, but a missed touch by Gia Whalen, but she recovers. Now Rachel Irvine 
Passing it out in front. The pass inside. Von Alsom. It's an opportunity. That was Miranda Jackson at the end of the quarter. So a couple of really good coaches in this matchup. Absolutely. Salucci, a member of the Iowa coaching staff for 24 seasons. So she's had a blueprint on this program for quite some time. Yeah, and if there is a coach to try to bring IU back into this one, it's definitely Kayla Bayshore. And we'll see if IU can get something going here. They had a lot more offensive pressure in that third quarter than they did the first couple of quarters. And we'll see if maybe they can get that going here in the fourth. Iowa trying to break out now. Taking their time, looking for a teammate. Good takeaway there by Garcia. Passing it up to Charlie. Millie Short jumps in. And she'll actually draw the whistle against IU. We hit coming out for Iowa now. There's Maggie Carter trying to press a little bit on Millie Short. Short gets it out. Now the pass up front to Von Alsom. It's a little bit too hard. Now Thompson on the ball, but Von Alsom still pressuring. Thompson just trying to find a way out. A couple of IU players or Iowa players there. The pass inside. Miranda Jackson just can't find anything, and IU will get the ball. Indiana gonna have to step on the gas here. There's Sarah Charlie 13. on the gas. Indeed, Charlie with an opportunity, a one-on-one. -on -one. Just nothing right now. Got some IU players inside there, but it goes right to an Iowa defender. Great job there from Lauren DeRose to be there and knock it out. But IU still with an opportunity now. Mortz with the ball off the stick of an Iowa defender. A hit coming in for IU. Seal will just pass it out now. Emma Thompson trying to pass it in. But Iowa, that defense still standing strong. And now counterattack opportunity. Up in front, just a little bit too hard. Looking for Esme Gibson on that one. The hit coming out for IU. And get off the stick of an Iowa six. defender. Megan Dillon. Iowa. Iowa. Have some big aspirations this year. Made the Elite Eight last year before losing to Northwestern 2-1. to one. That was their third straight trip to the Elite Eight. Obviously ranked number one just a couple of weeks ago. They have a team that can definitely make a push for that championship. For IU now. Still just trying to get that first win in the Big Ten. And a pass out in front. Sophie Stribos play at a delayed whistle. Iowa will take possession. Leva Schalk trying to pass it in, but a good defensive play by Garcia Prado. And she'll draw the whistle and allow IU to take possession. Well, it looks like we've traded out the sunshine for wind here in Bloomington. We've got some papers flying all over the place here in the press area. And no sunshine to be seen. Yeah, and a stick, a dangerous stick there from Laura Mortz. And that will give her a yellow card. She should be out for five minutes here. Couldn't tell where the ref was whenever she pulled that out, so I wasn't sure, but got confirmation on that one. And off the foot there of Ricky, will be a hit coming in for I or Iowa. Now on the far sideline looking for a way in. Diving defensive play there by Van Wander and forces it out. IU will get the hit coming out. Kennedy Reardon enters for the Hoosiers. And a turnover by IU. 
held on the ball, though. That will be knocked out, I believe, by Iowa's player there. Arabola Garcia. Garcia Prado now. A whistle, and she'll just take it. Passing it up way out in front. It will be out of the goal line there. It'll be hit coming out for Iowa. That was a screamer sent down the other end. I think she was just trying to get a deflection off an I Iowa player to swap fields there, but unable to get that. Now Maxner gets the turnover, knocks it out of a, knocks it out off of Irvine. Another whistle on Iowa will allow IU to take possession. Looks like they went just a little bit too quick there. Sarah Charlie enters for Indiana. Also, Adam Mozaleski for the Hoosiers. Passing out in front, looking for Charlie, but taken away. Charlie with a good play there to knock it out to slow it down just a little bit. But Iowa takes it quick. Looking up the middle. JC Whittle passing it out in front. IU draws a whistle. She was looking for Alex Wesneski on that one. But no dice, and Iowa, IU will take possession. An aerial pass just doesn't go as far as Emma Thompson wanted it. And Iowa gets another takeaway. Sophie Stribos inside the circle, looking inside. A deflection shot by Alex Wesneski, blocked by Loveridge. Loveridge yet again in there for another save. But it goes out to hit coming in for Iowa. J.C. Whittle loses it, loses her footing, and IU will take possession now. Eight and a half minutes left to go here in the ball game. IU still down two to nothing against Iowa. Iowa looking like they're trying to prevent Indiana from moving the ball upfield at all costs here. They're stacking the uh, left side while Indiana's got the ball over there and now everybody shifts. IU now trying to get something going on the far sideline, but for Indiana, Iowa still another Garcia good defensive Prado play there. Into the game for Iowa. So IU trying to shake number this string two, of shutouts. Awesome They've lost three of their last four and each of those losses were all shutouts. Awesome Coming against all ranked Miranda opponents Jackson and this one being a ranked Auburn. opponent as well. And off the foot there of Kennedy Reardon. Well, Iowa to take possession. Pass it off the goal line. Inside towards Miranda Jackson, but Lover just knocks it out. Was well, close to being knocked out on purpose. Could have almost called a penalty corner there, but Iowa will just get the hit coming in. J.C. Whittle on the ball for Iowa. She'll just pass it out as these defenders look for an opening inside. Off the stick of Charlie there, will go out of bounds. Stick draws a whistle for I or Iowa. Looking inside the circle, Garcia knocks it out. And it will be a hit coming in for Iowa. Iowa just allowing themselves to take time here on this offensive end. Being methodical with their offensive push here. Waylon looking it up, but knocked out by Maggie Carter. Iowa pushing it in towards the middle. A little bit too far out of the reach of Von Awesome. Airbowl, Garcia does a great job knocking it out. She'll just clear it. Charlie will try to press. And it looks like I, I, IU went a little bit too quick and will just take it back on their own end. Laura Mortz also returning back to the field after the conclusion of that yellow card. So Indiana back to even strength. Now Mortz with the ball. Good play there, just trying to find a way inside. 
Pass it towards Cookson. A little bit too far out of reach. And a stick there from Mortz. But Iowa does a good job maintaining possession. Pass out will just clear it towards Emma Thompson. Thompson passes it off Von Awesome's foot and will maintain possession. Mortz now with the ball towards the inside. Von Awesome all over Garcia Prado on that one. Now Keld looking for a way inside. Will pass it to the right side. Just a little bit too hard. Iowa will have the hit coming out. Entering for Iowa number nine, Stribos. Four and a half minutes left here to go in the game. And I would expect the Hawkeyes to do exactly what they're doing right now, just keep passing around and keeping the Indiana defense moving try to play keep away. Good stick from Van Wander and allows IU to take the ball away. Looking for Morris there, just a little bit too far out in front. Iowa happy to take the ball and let clock run out. They'll have to take it out from the side. And again, just happy to let take their time. As they uh, waste a little bit of clock here. Sophie Stribos with the ball, looking for a run, but a good stick from Arabola, or Garcia Prado. IU will take possession, passes it in, looking for Charlie. Good defensive play there by Millie Short. And good play there by Gia Whalen to try to get it out. Stick from Van Wander and draws a, draws a whistle. Wayward pass allows IU to take the ball back. Pass inside towards Charlie. Now Cookson with a chance. The shot knocked away Indiana by Mia Magnata there. Real good opportunity by there by for IU. Just Thompson. not able to get anything going. But now IU, Cookson with the ball again on the takeaway. Looking inside towards Charlie. Good defensive play. Now Charlie with the shot. Kicked out by Magnata again. Wow. And that'll draw a penalty corner off a stick. So Indiana set to get their third corner of the contest here. And it's been a minute since they've gotten an attempt, but they'll strategize and try to get on the board. Yeah, and saw the, against the last game in Louisville after they gave up that goal in the fourth quarter, they had a three penalty corners in the, late penalty in that game with opportunities. Now some more opportunities here late in the game. Arribola, and if they want any chance in this one, it feels like they have to get something here. And here's the pass in. Ben Wandering stops it. Charlie over to Keld, who will look for a deflection, but a great yeah, save by Magnota once again. Passed inside. Maggie Carter with the ball. IU gets another penalty corner now. Here's a replay of that one. Keld passed it off, passed it off to Garcia Prado, but a good save by Magnata. Penalty corner for the Hoosiers to be taken by number 28, Sofia Aribola Garcia. Aribola Garcia. We'll insert it here for IU. Pass in. Charlie with the shot and another save by Magnata. It went off IU and it'll be a hit coming out now for Iowa. Or a hit coming in for IU, my bad. And goes off the foot of an Iowa defender. Be a hit coming in for IU. Pass it to the right, to the far sideline. Knocked out once again. And it looks like they're going to call something in Iowa here. 
Looks like we're going to get a penalty stroke, potentially. Yeah, I'm not really sure what they called. So it will be a penalty corner for IU. Penalty corner for your Hoosiers to be taken by number one, Jamima Cookson. will be the insert So really in this last part of the fourth quarter, IU's been all over this offensive end. Here's the pass in. Stops. Van Wanderen tried to take a shot, but it just went a little bit too high. She will take the shot just wide, and it will go out, hit coming out for Iowa. Entering the game for Iowa, number four, Alex Wesneski. So a good opportunity, another good opportunity there for IU, just comes up short. Iowa with possession. And stick there from Mords will draw a whistle. Minute 30 left to go here in the ball game. And another whistle allows Iowa to take it, passes it up. Keld will try to get a stick in there. Pass up front to a wide open. Shot up the middle from Von Alsum. Another great save by Araboa Loveridge. It'll be a hit coming out now, or hit coming in for Iowa. And a pass in. It's taken away by AU. And Iowa will maintain possession. Here is that shot. It's an amazing save there from Gar or from Loveridge. Now a shot, and that one goes wide. Shot by Von Alsum. Iowa doesn't want this game to end quite yet. Just 20 seconds left now, but they're still pushing. Yeah, and a pass just a little bit too wide, and Iowa will take back possession. And with about 10 seconds left, it looks like Iowa will be happy to let this clock run out. IU puts a little bit of pressure on. And that will mark the end of this game as Indiana comes up short and Iowa wins two to nothing coming into Deborah Tobias Field and taking the win.